Hi, my peepers. Welcome to Tea Time with Friday Reads, Colored Whips, and Coloring News. So, as you all know, I have not made one of these videos in one or two weeks. I had been really sick, and I have so much to share. So, first off, let's share my cup, my teacup. It's a tall one. This was my birthday gift last year from Lisa. And today's tea is this, Ticino Hazelnut. And it says it's roasted herbal tea, caffeine-free, made with organic herbs, buttery hazelnuts enriched by golden roasted almonds, dates, and figs, medium roast. So if you like hazelnut coffee, you don't like the caffeine, or you like hazelnut creamer, but you also like tea, I recommend this. I am going online this week, and I'm going to order more. This came in my Sips by tea cup tea club that I get every month so good so I'm hoping to do this in 30 minutes because I just looked and my camera has 31 minutes left on the battery okay so reading I've read a lot in the past couple weeks that you have not seen I read Janet Ivanovich turbo 23 and this is a really good book if you like this series this I gave this four stars I read a few of these so I've been reading so much and then I read the woman in the blue cloak I received this from net galley for a review I'm trying to get the cover up for you if there is a cover, it might not have a cover. Well, that is the cover. The Woman in the Blue Cloak by Dion Meyer. And I gave this a three star. It was okay. So, yep, that was from Net Galley. And then from Net Galley and Forever, I received. The cut I received the paperback from Forever, plus they approved me on the net galley. And this is Cowboy Rebel by Carolyn Brown. This is the latest book in her um, cowboy series, a Longhorn Canyon series. And I believe this is the fourth book in the series. And I gave this a five star. I love this series very much. And then I read, hold on. The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. Go out and pick this up. Yes. Yes, this is a five star. If you are a woman and you've had a lot of issues with, say, your monthlies, this book goes into a lot of depth of this female and the female character in this book and what she has gone through in her 12 years of having this and wanting to now have a hysterectomy but wanting children so bad that the guy that she fell for she keeps pushing away because he wants children. So I highly recommend this. It was so good and it's not it's not out there enough for people to pick this up. I really, really say, go get this. And then I read Take the Bride by Carly Phillips. And I got this from Ink Slinger to do a review. It was a blog tour. I love the 1001 Dark Nights. These are no novellas. They, they usually have less than 200 pages. They are very quick read. I gave this a four star. So far they have approved me for every one of their 1001 Dark Nights novellas. I am really behind though because I just found out about them in the fall. So I have a ton more to read that I need to start reading those. And then from Nat Galley, I got Puppy Love by Lucy Gilmore. I gave this three star. Now, Frishan, Robin, and Elizabeth loved this book. 
I would have. I did not like the main character in this. I think that she is a trainer for service dogs, and I think that how she handled her first and her and her sisters own this this business, and it was her first time out on her own handling the service dog to this person who has diabetes. And how she handled it was totally wrong, and she did it was not professional enough, in my opinion, that it kind of threw me off for the rest of the book. But like I said, for Sean, Elizabeth, and Robin, loved the book. And then this month so far, because that's part of last month, this month so far, hold on. <laughs> I read The Seer by Tatenda Creed. Tatenda Creed. It's a book one. I, what's the series called? It's the Lost Archangel series. This is Paranormal. Love this. I gave this four stars. I received this from the author for a review. And then the next book was the second book of the series, which is called The Ring. Whoops, not you. The Ring. This was the second book of the series, and I gave this four stars. And I want to continue on with the series. I think she said there's going to be seven books. There is a prequel. Um, I forgot, Los Angels, I think it's called. I did read that first, and then I read these two. So, yeah, I recommend this series. Very good. And then I read... Hold on. Then I read Treachery in Death. Treachery and Death by J.D. Robb. Why does it constantly take away the cover? By J.D. Robb. I gave this a four star. Very good. It keeps taking away the cover. Ugh. I give up. <laughs> that was very good as well. And then I read New York to Dallas, and I gave this a four star. You keep reading the series, I'm going to keep reading it. Oh, and then I turned off my Kindle. I did read another one. I forgot to write it down. So yesterday I finished Wicked Witch Murder by Leslie Meyer. I gave that a four star. That's a Lucy Stone series. Very good. Okay, so that's it for my reading. Now on to my whips. So I haven't colored much while I was sick. I pretty much read and watched TV. I watched a bunch of movies on my DVR. So this week, this month, I am co-hosting with John of the Bibliophile Colorist and with Lisa's Coloring Corner, and we are doing Jade Summer, so it's hashtag Jade in June. And I pulled out Chibi Animals. I have not colored in this yet. I got this as a PDF. So I pulled out the fox, and I'm using Kali Art markers. I might do some shading with pencils. And I also can count this as hashtag color your hoard. So there is that. And then this week... I want to continue color in the picture in Mythographic Imagine. And I started this picture with watching Teeth. Watching Kaylee Girl Ink or Kaylee Girl and then C. 
and using the Arteza pencils. So I want to finish this this week. And I started this while babysitting. Magical Delights by Clara Markova. And I'm watching Julie's Passion for Coloring. And while I'm, because she doesn't chat in her videos, it's just music, I mute the music and I listen to my books on audiobook. And so I am coloring this one with the Prisma colors. So I'm hoping to finish this this week. And I decided, okay, I made a list of all the color lawns and which ones I plan on doing. And so I have Pop Manga. I do have a whip in here. So I'm hoping to finish that first. So this is the whip I have using my Luminance pencils. So, yep, this is Pop Manga. It's the first one. I have not... I don't have a finish in here, so when I finish one, I can count it as color your hoard. And I'm working on this with the Luminance pencils, so I'm hoping to finish that today. And then I, and I can count that. No, I can't. <laughs> on Instagram, there is a color lawn out of this, but you have to color the picture that they chose. So, I chose, whoops, I chose that one. Well, they chose this one. The person chose this one. Plus, they chose one out of the other Pop Manga Mermaids book. So, um, but I'm going to color this one. And I think I'm going to use my Pablo's. Because the Pencil Hole Club, the Pablo's are the pencil of the month. So that's my whips for this week. Because I only finished like three or four pages last month. I want to get a lot done. Whoops, I need to put that in, back in here. I've been leaving the papers in here of what colors I used. Okay, coloring news. Hmm. Ready? Okay, it's only for June. I'm only doing one month at a time. I have not updated my blog yet on any of this information. Give me a day or two to get that done. Um, I do have plans today, so it probably won't get done today, but tomorrow I'm hoping to. Okay, on YouTube... Sammy is doing any floral picture of Johanna Basford, and the hashtag is hashtag Basford Blooms in June. Grace's Coloring Corner is doing Linda Ravenscroft with her gray scales. So I have a picture started in one of Linda Ravenscroft's, so I'm hoping to finish that picture this month, and because it will be the first one I've done in that book. It will be Color Your Horde also. Like I said, the Bibliophile Colorist, me, and Lisa's Coloring Corner are co-hosting Jade Summer in June. So it's hashtag Jade in June. Um, Color in Chats and Cats with Michelle is hashtag Gaga for Grayscale 2019. Kate's Color in Haven and Nia's Craft Corner is doing anything by Hannah Carlson. And I don't know if they have a hashtag. I don't have anything written down that they have a hashtag. Lori's Color in Hangout is doing gel pens in June, and that's hashtag gel pen June. Lisa's Color and Corner is also co-hosting with Color Creatively, and it's fun with fairies. Zoe Archer is doing Creative Haven. Victoria Colors is doing Micah Jelena, and that's hashtag VC Micah Jelena June. Color with Faithful Girl 1978 is doing a picture of Hollow Moon Art, 
and you have to belong to her Facebook group to get a discount on that picture. I'm not, I'm skipping this month. I'm be, way behind on her videos. And on Facebook, Color Mania has three color lawns going on. One is Take Me to the Wild. It's jungle themed. One is Molly Harrison. And another one is Dress for a Gala. Something with a picture with gowns or tuxes. Pencil Ho Club is coloring any pictures with Karen Dosh Pablos. Hannah Lynn's Whimsical Adult Coloring. This week's color along until Monday is Sadie's Dragon from Enchanted Faces. And they also have a June Halloween challenge where you color a Halloween picture of Hannah Lynn's or take one of her images and make it Halloween-y by using Halloween colors. Christine Karen Coloring Collection Fan Group from June 4th through July 3rd is Patreon Palooza. So if you belong to her Patreon group, you can get the picture of Hummingbird Fairy. Color in Tips and Tutorials with Faithful Girl 1978 again is Hollow Moon Art. Secret Garden Gallery is Fly or Swim June 15th through the 30th. So it's pictures that have to do with like birds flying or probably bugs flying, anything with wings and something under the water. Adult coloring on a budget is Summer Sunset slash Sunrise Destination Challenge. Color in Queen Community is Things with Wings, and that's for May and June. Cali Girl NNC's World of Color is Mer July, so it's mermaids, mermen, merkitties, etc. Maybe that's the one that's May and June. I don't know. Just check it out. <laughs> Linda Ravenscroft's coloring group is doing Flaming June, so you take her pictures and you use, like, reds, orange, and yellows. Molly Harrison Fantasy Art coloring group is Spring to Summer, using 12 colors that they chose of their color palette. Hannah Carlson's coloring club is also doing a Flaming June. And it's using reds, oranges, and yellows. And that runs from June 8th through the 22nd. Let's Color Today ha is doing The Eyes Have It. So it's a picture that's based mostly on the eyes of like an animal or a person. June on Instagram. Now three of these I already knew. The rest I all got from going to Passionista Colorista. So if you want more information... Go to Passionista Colorista. She has all the Instagram color lawns that she knows about. I wrote them all down for you. They will go on my blog. So on Instagram for Sammy, use the hashtag Bassford Blooms in June for the floral pictures of Johanna Bassford. For me, the Bibliophile Colorist and Lisa's Coloring Corner, it's hashtag Jade in June. Philomena Booth is hashtag Spring and Gala 19, which is the pictures of women in gowns and guys in tuxes. Lillian Addiction is hashtag Sunflowers for Lillian, so pictures with sunflowers. BMAZXO is hashtag June Gemstones, so pictures with gemstones. And hold on a minute. <coughs> My allergies are really bad. If you notice, my eyes are probably red. I probably shouldn't have put makeup on. <clears throat> the the dogwood is just flying all around. That's why this did not get made last night because my eyes were runny and itchy and really bad. <clears throat> and so and I've been coughing and sneezing. So excuse me. <laughs> Nerma coloring is hashtag L U S J Pop Manga June. So any of, like I said, she has the pop manga, the picture I chose in this, and then she has a picture from the other pop manga mermaid book. Jode, Jodine Linnea is doing hashtag coloring June bugs. Is anything with bugs? 
Color in Diary 1603 is hashtag steampunk color along. And I'm not sure if it's any steampunk picture, if it's a certain book. I didn't pay attention to that. Bins underscore artwork underscore coloring is hashtag flower lady Hannah 19. It's out of the jewelry box coloring book of Hannah Carlson. And she picked the picture she wants colored. Kit Cat in Color is hashtag Unicorn, so it's pictures with unicorns. Nerma Coloring has another color lawn, and that's hash, hashtag Momo Music 03. Rainbow's End is hashtag Get Shady Color Lawn, and Rainbow's is spelled R A Y N instead of R A I N. Shades of Pure Joy is hashtag June Bugs Color Lawn. Sandra 994, and Sandra has two A's at the end of the name. It's, so it's Sandra994 underscore coloring. It's hashtag joyful animals. Red underscore Tifa is hashtag buzzalon. And she's co hosting with Tracy Brownlee08. Shades of Pure Joy for June and July is also doing another color lawn, and that's hashtag jo Johanna Julia Jasmine. So it's pictures by Johanna Basford, Julia Rivers, who I've never heard of, I'm going to have to check that out, and Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, Bins underscore artwork underscore coloring is doing another color along, and that's Enchanted Forest, and it's the picture of the frog. And she says if you want to be included in that, to send her a direct message by June 16th. Copic Crazy Colorist is hashtag Zenny Animals, and so that is Zentangle Animals. And that is all the color and news. Now, if you want to know whose color lawns I have decided to do, I will tell you. And if there's any out there that I do not have written down, please leave me a comment below or send me a private message and I will get it written down. And if you know what you are doing in July already, if you belong to a Facebook group, you know what they're doing in July Please, again, comment below, email me, or send me a private message. So over the color lawns that I plan on doing this month, I'm doing Sammy's Bassford Blooms in June. I'm going to do a picture out of World of Flowers, so I can also count that picture towards Tina and Nick's um, hashtag WOF2019. I'm going to do Grace's because I already have a Linda Ravenscroft picture started, so I want to finish that. And of course, Jade and June because that's my color lawn. Kate and Mia, it's Hannah Carlson, and I'm going to, I, I don't know if I've colored in seasons. I'm going to find a Hannah Carlson I have not colored in yet and color a picture. So then it counts as color your hoard. Victoria, I want to do a Micah Jelena. I'm not sure if I've colored in every Micah Jelena I have. Hannah Lynn, I want to do the June Halloween challenge. And if I have time tomorrow, I might do Sadie's Dragon out of Enchanted Faces. My Enchanted Faces is a pocket size. I think that will count. Kelly Girl on NC's World of Color is doing Mer July. So if I do a picture out of her mermaids, I can count that at under Shades of Pure Joy for the hashtag Johanna Julia Jasmine. And like I said, I'm doing that pop manga for Nerma Coloring. And those are the color lawns I plan on joining in. For the month. I can't do them all, but I'm going to try. If I get all of these done, which will be a miracle, then I will add in some more. But I want to think I have five minutes left on my camera, now four minutes. So goodbye. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support you have been giving me on my coloring, my planners, and my reading. Thank you. Have some tea. Bye-bye.